Hi everyone, good morning, good evening, good night. So today um, we gather to work with the root chakra. And of course, the root chakra is one of the most dense chakras that we have. Today I wrote uh, and share a little bit about the information of the root chakra in Emotional Week, which is related to the fear. Before we start with the alignment, I, um, I wanted to, to clarify some things so we are all on the same page. The reason why this chakra is one of the most densest is because with the past of centuries and millenniums, uh, millenniums um, we have um, blocked and uh, the energy was tucked there. And the reason why we block this is because with the earth, so with our animal part. So we have to be very clear about this. Animals think on eating and reproduce. So is the animal part of ourselves because is the one that connects us with the earth, with nature, with evolution. In evolution, what every one of us is looking is to survive. So we have two ways of survival, eating and reproducing ourselves. So at the moment when the humans start to create the culture and civilization and we started to think that we can come from the heavens, that we should go to the heavens with the divine in the clouds and the sun, we started to go there and separate ourselves from the earth. And what we have done with this was to separate ourselves from the animal kingdom and we went to the heavens. So this took ourselves to think that everything that is from the belly down is related to the animal part of ourselves. So what we have done was to eliminate this part, to, to ban, to talk about this part, and just from the heart up. And some of us, we still do exactly the same, even in spirituality, not going away from religion, but we still speak about from the heart up, but we are not touching down there. What happens with this is that through the time, this, start to, this chakra starts to be blocked. So this chakra has the potential to eat, to have the energy and to, to produce energy and to reproduce. So everything that was related to survival. So this created two ideas in our spiritual world. To say that in order to reach the heavens, we need to leave the earth, we need to leave the material world. And in the other side, that we should not have something related, anything related with sex. So both of them, these two energies, these two tools, are related in just one idea, in just one tool, which is survival. And survival has only one emotion, which is fear. Fear was the fundamental tool for survival. And also, of course, is the main base that has created what we are today. So we have to honor a lot the fear. It made us be what we are today. Why do we want to eat? Because we are afraid to die. Why do we want to have relationships? Because we want to feel ourselves part of something. Why our bodies needs to have sex? Because it looks for transcendence. Talking just about biology. 
then we go to the other aspect. These two are just survival, okay? It's just for the body. Once we get inside a culture, food and sex stop being just for survival and they become a pleasure, a goal of pleasure. So when I become aware of myself with consciousness, the food becomes the knowledge, the wisdom, and the sex becomes the kundalini, the movement of the energy, the enlightenment. These three levels, the animal one that looks for survival, the cultural one that looks for pleasure, and the spiritual one that looks for enlightenment, the three of them are related with this chakra. But the main emotion, the trunk of this tree of, of, of structure is fear. We have the fear of the subconscious. This, the fear in the subconscious is in the animal part because we don't have to think about it. It just come up. Then we have the fear in the unconscious, which is in the social or cultural aspect of ourselves. And this part is the one that uh, is unconscious because it's a fear that is pushed by the, the environment, by the society, by the culture. And then we have the fear in the conscience, which is the one related to the seek of enlightenment and wisdom. So we could say maybe that the first fear, the base fear, is to die of hunger. The next one is to fear to be alone, to be expelled by others. And the, the last one is to not, not exist, that nothing exists. These are the, the main fears, the basis of this fear. So this why is related to the basement with our basis. basis. So from these three fears, we create many and thousands of different fears, but each one of them are tools that helps us to survive and to go through these statements, these stages, sorry. Each one of our fears are building us towards the path of the consciousness. One of the main reasons why we have so many fears is because we blocked so much that chakra that we never faced those fears. So one of the things that we have to do is to unite ourselves with that fear and to use it in our own benefit. To do that is to recognize in our biggest weakness, our biggest strength. So the first thing that we have to do is to recognize that fear, to face that fear. So after we recognize that, we have to locate that fear in which one of those three levels we find it. So in this way, I will be able to recognize if my fear is related to myself, to the a projection of the other ones or my biology, my body. So when I recognize that fear, what I do is to recognize that because of that fear, I am here alive because fear has this goal to keep you alive. So from that is when I start to understand the logic of that fear. When I recognize that fear, I can realize that 
I can look for new tools. Just a tiny example to understand how to. Um, I won't talk about <coughs> every field because won't be possible. So I will just take one to show you the process. So when you go to, for example, you are afraid of, uh, of darkness and you are afraid of darkness. So you go deep into why you have, you have that fear until you realize maybe that is in the first stage when you were animal, when you in the darkness, other animals could eat you. So you had nothing to make light to see in the, in the night. But today you have a light, a lantern. So you say, okay, I have a lantern. So you touch a lantern, you, you grab a light. And with that, you talk to the, you talk to the fear and you say to the fear, thank you for taking care of me until this moment. But I found another, another tool. Because I know that fear is protecting me in the darkness. But now I have another tool. I have a lantern, a light. So you teach, you teach your fear. Hey, I don't need you now. I have another tool. Don't ask me about your own fears. You have the answer within. You just have to go, close your eyes, face the fear, ask yourself, meditate, why? Why I have this fear? And go deep into that. For sure, it will be difficult to face the fears and it will take a lot of time sometimes. But it's your own process. You need to do it by yourself. Hmm? One of the main things that we have to understand is that fear is not an enemy. It's a friend that is trying to help you to survive. So when you face that, when you realize that, you can transform that, change the consciousness of that. Everything that we fear is related to our genitals. So if you want to know more about uh, about this relation between fear and the genitals, just hashtag Sigmund Freud. Just look and read, okay? He knows much more than me about that. They, they were just asking about the justice and I want to make just a summary, a brief summary of justice. We have a perspective of justice that is divided uh, in the concepts of uh, punishment and price, I would say, yeah, price and punishment, uh, punishment and reward. This creates a justice that is very re uh, related to the hierarchy. That is, that is natural too, because it's something that came from, from the nature, so, so it's, it was good at its, at, at its moment. The justice must change according to our perception of consciousness. Justice cannot judge. Justice, justice, uh, justice cannot uh, punish, should teach. Hmm? Today I, I, I talk about that justice comes from the word uh, make an adjud a judgment, a judgment. So to being someone just, being someone with judgment, is to adjudge myself in line, okay? So the justice today is very retrograde because it just talk about someone that is bad and someone that is good. So what we have to do is not to find the judgment of the self, of the being, but to find the balance the adjustment, the um, yeah, the, judge, the adjustment of the being. So this 
adjustment is the goal of the right justice. What we have to understand is that this person is not bad or good, is someone that is unbalanced, that is not adjusted. This is why I am recommending that before we make some judgment to something that we believe is good or bad, we have to first make our own adjustment in ourselves. So remember, we are in the day of root chakra in the week, in the emotional week. And this is the month of Leo. So this is the month of the I can. So the variation of the day is Ho. Ho means H, the life, and O is the sound of the production, the product, the fruit of everything that we do. So the statement is, I am life in production. So this means that, um, that I am able to produce my own reality, to create my own reality, and the energy to produce that comes from the root chakra, which is in my genitals. So the code or information of today is, again, the sound ha, but at this time is related not with just the breathing in, but holding the energy. Remember that we have three moments of the breath, which is breathing in, hold, breathing out, and the three of them are H. So it says, then the spirit sights again and understands that everything that vibrates has to shine too. The second H is head, contemplation, a process that originates from feeling, relating to others, allowing oneself to be pierced by all and penetrate all at the same time, who irradiates in all directions of time, manifesting in all spaces, the moment when the soul sights. So this is the information of today. So um, we are going to put the music and to start with the alignment. As always, we start sitting comfortable, caressing our bodies. Remember that we caress and massage the body to let, to let it know that we are going to work with the energy and also to honor it for being the anchor of the spirit day after day. I focus in my breathing as I relax my body. I leave the weight. Become aware of my breathing. Take a deep breath and go with the oxygen to your lungs, 
par blood organs and muscles imagine the trip of your oxygen through your body start to become aware with my breathing of the heat that comes out from my body. I start to expand the heat, filling up all my aura. and allow myself to see the color around me. This is the color, the energy and emotion that today represents my energy. I allow myself to think freely about all the things that I have done today and the emotions related to them. I receive each one of them without judgment. With my hands, I take all this energy, color, and emotions without judgment, and I bring them all around my genitals, around my hip. I shape this energy like a wheel, a circle around the root chakra. Take a deep breath. I recognize that inside this chakra, I have all the energy that gives me strength, power, that helps me to produce, to create. And I recognize also that all these forces are held by fears. Remember, fear is not my enemy. It's just trying to help me with the tools that it has. it only has. These two forces, the positive and the negative, are the ones that linked me with Mother Earth, with my siblings, the animals. I 
I recognize that this is the place where every one of my emotions find the strength, the power to go up, to seek for enlightenment. This is why we are going to bring the I am into this place so it, help, so it can, can help my emotions to find a way towards enlightenment. I start to pronounce my vibration and make spin faster and faster the wheel of my emotions around this chakra. keep pronouncing it once and again. I feel the energy of the will being absorbed faster and faster by the chakra. Remember that this sound is the energy needed to, in, to arrange, to start the engine of my, ch of my root chakra. I see the light shining from my chakra going out through all my blocks. Breathe in and contemplate in front of you your biggest fear. can't do anything to you, you are just observing it, breathe in, while observing your fear, straight to its eyes, Feel the root chakra shining brighter and brighter and I descend the consciousness of the I am. I can integrate my fear. I can transcend my fear. I can use my fear to create.
I can't be free from fear. I can't be free from all my repression. I can, for I have the power. I feel and see the light of my chakra, bringing light to my fear surrounding it and expanding its light towards every horizon. I observe, perceive the big network of all these people facing and anchoring its fear, its power. Observe that fear to become a rock as brighter your light, the rock is stronger. Recognize so that your fear has become a point of support. I allow myself to feel, to perceive all these rocks through all the network with this beautiful red light shining over them. I recognize over this stone I shall build my temple. For I am the life in production. I am the life in production. I am life in production. I take my hands to my heart. Feel, take a deep breath. I can transcend the fear. For my fear is the rock where I lay that supports me. Is the rock over I am building, for I am life in production. I start to expand this truth from my heart towards every part of my body, caressing, massaging, stretching and yawning. And I open my eyes softly. (sighs) 
We are back here and now. Remember that it's normal to feel tired, to sleep during the meditation. It's normal because we are just beginning with this. So your body needs to process. Bien. DC, just walk to the ground. If you <coughs> feel bad or, or something, just lay down a moment on the floor, rest. Um, if you feel any emotions, just let the emotion go out. Thank you everybody for being there and see you tomorrow for Denise, rest a lot, yes, bye.